Hey you guys, what's up? Hello, welcome back to another video of the Scuffed Iron Man series. In the last episode we got a, well, not got, we just did a bunch of Captain Zithion because we actually had access to the God of Wars dungeon and we prepped a lot for it. And we got like 50 something kills with it and it was pretty fun because that was like our first time doing that too. So it was a lot like new stuff to learn and, and all the new mechanics are just really interesting to learn. But yeah. We're doing our weekly Tears of Guthix per usual, and somehow we always line up getting our Tears of Guthix on every single episode. But I think our next goal is probably we're missing three quests right now, and the quest we're missing Beneath the Cursed Sands, Temple of the Eye, and Land of the Goblins. So I'm thinking that maybe let's get our quest cape back because you can't wear it without having all the quests completed. And, I don't know, it just sounds like something I'm kind of missing. I like running around with the quest cape point a lot. And, yeah, I think we should get back on the quest grind again. And, let's get this quest cape back. Also, a good reason why we're getting back on the quest grind right now is because I would have done it earlier when they released, like, the Land of the Goblins first, and then there's a break between the next two. Is just that these quests are just probably going to be the last for quite a while, so... I don't have to worry about like getting the quest cape and losing it right after and just having to do another quest to get it back. So I think this is the good point to get the cape back. Also, one of my other goals was after we got the dragon axe from the Dagonoth Kings, I really wanted to go to King Black Dragon because King Black Dragon also drops... Where is the King Black Dragon? He drops the dragon pickaxe and yeah, he has like a higher drop rate... Oh, the, the weed spawn but he has a harder like rougher drop rate for the dragon pickaxe of the one in 1500 versus where the other wildy bosses have a one in 500 i just don't feel like i'm strong enough i was really banking on getting spoon fed acb at like 50 kc and we probably would have went to kbd right after that but you know since we don't have that we'll we'll, we'll get it eventually it'd be really nice to get that dragon pickaxe because i'm not really trying to do mining without it. But we do have a dragon axe though, so we can start AFKing at woodcutting if we really wanted to. I don't remember how long it's been, but I need to collect my miscellaneous. So let's check what we have collected. And we have a nice amount of maple leaves and pretty good everything else I think. Oh, 62 Ranars and where are my snapdrags? Where are my snapdrags? No snapdragons? I, get I have no clue at all. But yeah, we have a nice lot of maple logs and actually a pretty decent amount of teak logs because we probably just need to keep stacking them over and over. I don't even know how many we have in our bank still. But yeah, we have let's put another 1 million inside. And let's change it up to probably... May now we need to keep going curbs. Do I want to get rid of wood? Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Let's put it more onto teak for this one. And let's call it there. Starting off with land the goblins were gonna help corrupt but the assistance of the two generals inside the goblin village near like that wall to Brithrope and Taverly I think and we're gonna take him into the underground area because the land goblins aren't allowed in here but I am gonna vouch and be his ambassador so we can talk to Mistag to describe he has a dream of that. There's an ancient goblin city you use or however you want to pronounce it exists and we're gonna go look for it and Let's see if we can get some help. Oh, I went to the wrong way. Basically, Griffith was just saying in his dream that Xanax actually is supposed to be the real ruler of the goblins, but the land goblins don't like her because she's very non-aggressive. So we're going to go investigate the dungeon of the big high war gods or whatever, wherever they call it, the goblins call like their war bearing god. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, we're going to go look for some ancient artifacts and their old hidey hole and see if there's any secrets on or hints on where we need to go. I think it's this way. I'm being discriminated. The Dorgish goblins are allowed to go in and other goblins are allowed to go in, but no humans are allowed. So let's figure out how to sneak in here. That's a big mushroom. I think I need one of these for the quest. In the previous quest for a recruitment drive a long time ago, the makeup of mage had to turn us into a woman so we could like do one part of it for some reason. I don't know why that's part of the quest, but we have a strange request of can you turn me into a goblin and uh, i just but I, I just like goblins now i got a pick from this pharmacus bush 
and we can add it right into our toad flex unfinished and we just can wear this but we have to have like goblin mail on we can't be standing on the sunlight and we can't be in combat i think there's a few more restrictions but nothing that really adheres to us so let's try to sneak past some goblins now if we drink this goblin potion but with unequipped everything everything now with nothing equipped we drink this goblin potion and we get to pick which goblin we want to look like so <laughs> wait this guy's got a little like little beanie on this one with the spiked hair or the point is kind of cool i think i'm gonna go with the beanie guy we're gonna drink it and can we do a goblin suit over in here oh <laughs> what is this ooh, ooh. Yeah, this, is, this is cool okay let's now let's sneak in here oh also i think it's we want to get in the temple and he's going to give us a name they're gonna guess our name and we're gonna decide if the name is right and if it's right that's gonna be named forever so slug fingers guess again thick brain that sounds pretty good but keep going blob knuckles rub fingers snail arm snail arm sounds pretty good to me now let's get in here we got to go steal some keys from all these goblins and to do that we have to wear a corresponding goblin male color to enter like each respective tribe and now we got to get past this yellow guy and luckily for me i'm carrying all these dyes so i can wear it and go from my beige con looking one to yellow now i can go in and i'm gonna go steal a key from this guy's pocket so we could enter the crypt and investigate some skeleton or whatever dead priest is in there and see if we can find you 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 bruce you yeah now with all the keys we're gonna enter into the crypt and we're gonna have to fight a bunch of the priests and we actually don't really have that much combat gear we took our helmet some gloves a ring spec weapon and our defender and apparently they may or may not hit pretty hard so let's hope they don't hit hard and we could just kill them pretty fast let me take this off just in case we don't lose it and now we put on our good gear and let's go say a name which i think the first one is snot face or snot head or something like that and we're gonna keep killing these priests because they're in like a uh, snail feet and we're gonna keep killing this priest because like each one goes back a generation and they have more information on you you i don't even know how to say the place but yeah they have more information on the place and we're gonna keep going all the way up way up so i think we're gonna end up on that one all up there and we're already kind of getting hit kind of hard but i'm saving our specs for the last people I guess strong bones wasn't really that strong after all. Now tell me where Yubusk is. That's a neat little piece of dialogue. The chosen commander will find what she is looking for when you bring her to Yubusk. And how does how does yeah, wait what? Yeah, you just disappeared. how did he know that? What's your what's what's your face, Zarek? Is the chosen commander out? Huh? Maybe this goes. Huh? And by using the power of the fairy ring onto this portal because you i still can't pronounce it is actually on a plane of existence and it seems like goblins aren't native to gilinor which is actually kind of crazy and hopefully this is actually you bruce or oh yeah and this can be a place for non-combatant goblins to exist wait this can't be it oh well, let's hope this is it you dusk and you you, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna try anymore. Let's check this what this box is. Maybe there's some clues inside here. <gasps> Zanic! Where are you going? Um That might not be good, but I guess we gotta get out of here for now, because we all don't want to be stuck here. <laughs> well, <laughs> Sorry, Zanik. <laughs> Let's we'll, we'll figure out how to get you back. And I guess that's land of the goblins completed. We got some little bit of XP out of that. I don't think we get a level of that. But hmm. Let's get Zanik back somehow. Back in my crypt, we actually need to put put on the ring of in or visibility so we can see a ghost now. 
And we also got to put on a ghost speak amulet. So now we can talk to this ghost. And this ghost is actually, I think his name is Hope Spear. And he's waiting for Bandos to actually take him back to Ubisk. And we're going to tell him that we've been here before, or Ubisk before. And he's going to ask us to bring his dead homies' bones to Ubisk and bury them there. So I think we're just going to have to talk to him a little bit. And we're going to have to do a everything you hope for. It's not a wasteland. Trust me for that. And we're going to get all the bones, beat them up without any items, and bring them there. So I think we have enough food to do it. So let's get this going. Oh, at least this is all just 1v1s. I thought it was going to be like all of them at one time. So this actually isn't that bad. So let me get all the bones and let's go see if we actually get to the real you. Now with everybody's bones, I think we can actually go to the real Ubisk somehow, or let me, it's B, L, and Q, Ubisk. Yeah, I typed it. I guess this is a real place, but I think once we're in here, I think Hope Spears will, I can bury them here. Bury this for 20,000 XP. Snot heads for 1.2. Moss chins. Or I didn't moss chin, I forgot what the other guy's name is. And red eyes. And that gives us 76 pair because it's 37 something or 38,000 pair XP. But I have no clue how to get Sanic back. I guess that's in a future quest, but how are they going to leave us on a cliffhanger just like that? Ah, well, she'll probably be fine. Starting Temple of the Eye in Alcarid, we're going to help Wizard Peterson investigate the Abyss by helping her do a small favor. <laughs> and we're not ready to do another small favor, but, you know, we'll help her find the Abyss because we've already done a quest for that too, so we know everything about the Abyss. So let's go investigate it and, I don't know, just figure out what she wants to do with the Abyss. And start. Apparently... Time goes really slow in the abyss and this dark mage needs a little bath so we're gonna throw this little bucket of water on him and there he's bathed and now we should be able to figure out where this amulet came from or like why it's giving us some weird vibes or something like that. We got the incantation figured out and we got a bunch of uh, wizard apprentices to help do the teleportation matrix and now there's a little portal here and I think let's get in there why is everyone scared let's do it adventure and after doing a little test run of temple of the eye minigame we finished temple of the eye and we got a little bit of runecraft xp and this is actually a pretty cool quest because it actually gives access to the new minigame guardians of the rift i don't think there's a oh there is a teleport for it and this is the new runecrafting minigame that we're going to be doing for a while because this is probably one of the best early-ish level of runecrafting Mini games and training methods, and I hate runecrafting anyway, so sounds like a fun way of doing it. So, yeah, now we've unlocked our best, or not best, our new runecrafting training method. Starting beneath Cursed Sands, we got a little note from our spy in Sophodim that we need to go investigate some weird, strange happenings to the citizens of Menefis, because everyone's bypassing the quarantine or something, and, and people are just starting to act a little wonky so let's go figure out what's causing them to be crazy i think the cool part about this quest that although it's like just being like the precursor to like the third raid of runescape the tomb of a masket is that they actually added like this entire like chunk to like south of alcarid because this whole area was it still had the big black block here but it used to be like all the way down here so everything from this whole chunk of like brown all the way down to here is all new I wonder what they're going to do here though, because it's kind of weird just to have like a big just chunk missing right here. But let's keep investigating and see why these Menifite people are just like non-stop staying up day and night and just I have no clue what's going on here. I'm still not fully sure on what's going on, but something about a masket, the devourer like hypnotized a bunch of people and starting to do something not good. But this part is kind of, it reminds me of just like the Sepulchre. It's really just like, just like the same puzzle but dodge and but these guys aren't really shooting fireballs like they're supposed to but this ain't bad so far 
I probably didn't bring the right gear for this. Yeah, definitely not, but you know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I got a Prey Mage. We'll do Eagle Eye. And he's got to stay as far away from him as possible. Because he can like one-shot us completely. So we'll keep running. Like, Yeah, that, that can hit like 40s multiple times. So we just keep running. Keep walking. Do we have to go on top of that? I think so. I have no clue what I'm doing. Just hope that we do this first try. I'm undergeared. I th does he have one of those things where you if you don't turn around you get insta killed like in the Tracon fight in um that one quest the sins of the father that I I guess I didn't read it up but okay, well, at least we get a gear up for it this time but that's unfortunate and the champion dead now we could finally talk to the priest of Scarabus, and then we could release him from the grasp of Amascus or the devourer who's mind controlling him. So wake up. And apparently, the priest Scarabite has actually been the reason why Menifus has been quarantined and like plagued for all this time because they've been intentionally poisoning the cows and like releasing locusts and frogs amongst the people. But we now know that there is a cure to it, so we're gonna go make a cure for it and let's see if we can make the Menifus people. On our side, or something like that. And now with the cures distributed to the High Priest of Sophonim, it's time to head to Necropolis and end a mask at the Devourer from her mind control doings, evil things. Yeah, let's kill her. The Devourer reveals herself. Let's get it. I think just these two. And then she hits hard every once in a while, so let's do a spec right here. Okay, of course it hits nothing. And let's just pot up while we can. Her set will kill the Shadow Soldier as fast as possible. Oh, oh. And the Devourer is dead. It does not. The reunification of Menifus and Sophonim looked like they're working, but his eyes did not really look like he was normal. Maybe they're still under control, or they're just really, really high. But the quarantine's over, they're announcing. So let's just hope that everything goes good for them now. And that's Beneath Cursed Sands. And that's actually a pretty cool quest. It's more like I still don't know because they're still building a lot of lore for this. But I'm assuming this tomb will be the next spot for the Tombs of a Masket, the next raid of RuneScape. That's gonna be pretty exciting. I mean, I still haven't really done any other raids except for like the Theater Blood a little bit. And we have Chamber of Zeric still, and now there's gonna be a third raid for us. And from the quest, we got this little hat, which is like acts like an infinite water skin. So I guess that'll be kind of cool when we do like, I don't know, more like sandstone mining. And we also got this Karis Partisan, which is like a spear. I don't know if it's one hand or not, but it's like a enhanced version of the single handed Karis. So that's kind of cool. I don't know what the use case is for any of these because I don't like doing scare bites or like even what's your face? Kafai Queen. But that's kind of cool. But hey, look at that. 153 quests out of 153 quests now. Let's go regain our quest point cape. Actually, I don't really even have to go anywhere to get my quest kit back because we already had it in the bank. It's just we weren't able to equip it because it kept saying that we just didn't have all the quests completed to wear it. But now we can re eerie equipped our quest point cape and we can finally do the emote again it's so cool every single time but yeah i mean that was kind of like a little fun questing the i don't know grind and we unlocked a lot of stuff like i'm pretty excited to do this room crafting mini game because i think i might spend some time there now because i feel like we should get this to 70 and we should probably get construction out because construction is probably one of the more important skills to do because I think we really want to get the ornate all the way up here. The ornate rejuvenation pool, which requires 90 construction. But it also that mean but we can boost it with the crystal saw and a stew, so we could do it at like 82 or 83 construction, I think. And we also probably can, I think actually, yeah, we could do this with our herb lore level two, and just a lot of this is just really expensive. But yeah, I think it's time to get on our runecrafting grind because at 65 runecrafting, we also get 
the Ardun Hard Diary completed, and we can start doing those unlimited teleport to the herb patches. So that's going to be really nice. And we could probably just start doing a bunch of herb runs again, get our seaweed back up, and yeah, we'll get another base 70, and or maybe even more. I think maybe I don't know. I have to learn how the the what's the, the mini game works, but yeah, that was pretty cool. We unlocked a lot of stuff for now and in the future. So till the next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.